Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use range lookup as true or one. Before I tell you the actual problem, let me talk about the scenario here. I have this employee data and the salary column contains the salaries of all the employees. Here I have a tax table and I want to calculate the tax to be paid by the respective employee. Now here tax parameter depends on the salary. If I consider the first example, this person is earning salary 41,639. Now if I look at the tax table, this 41,639 falls within the range of 35,000 to 45,000. Now the salary has to be greater than 35,000 but it should be less than 45,000. Hence the tax percentage is 6%. So I just want to write the tax percentage here. In order to do that, I've seen many people writing a complex if and and function. That isn't required because your simple VLOOKUP can help you to solve this problem. And in order to solve this problem, I'll write a simple VLOOKUP function and I'll press shift and F3. When I do that, this function argument screen opens up. Now, what I have to do is I'll just write lookup value. Now here, since my lookup value is salary, because salary is the common field between both the tables. So I'll choose the salary as my lookup value. Now I'll go to the table array and I'll select this as my table. And like as we discussed earlier, I'll freeze this. Now here also the text percentages are in the second column because this is the table that we have selected and this is the first column and this is the second column from which we have to fetch the data. So I'll put column index number 2. Now here if you look at this part it says logical. If I put 0 it says false but if I put 1 it turns true. It's actually not 0 and 1. It's either true or false or 0 and non-zero. When I say non-zero, it means I can randomly put any figure and it still says zero. That means if it is zero, it will be working as a perfect match. But if it is non-zero or any other number instead of zero, it will be considered as true. Now, if you look at this function argument screen, I see that first three fields are bold and the last field is not bold. That means this last field is an optional value which can be ignored. So let's say I do not put anything and I'll directly go ahead with range lookup as non-zero or I leave it blank. And now I, if I drag it, you will see all the tax percentages have got calculated. Now as we discussed, this salary is 41,639 which falls between 35 to 45,000 and that tax percentage is 6,000. Now people there are certain things that you need to note is unlike the previous example that we talked about where we used range lookup as zero we need to have first column sorted in ascending order that's mandatory because we have to arrange this column in the increasing order. So here all these values now becomes the starting value of each range that means my first range starts with zero. The second range starts with 5000. The third range starts with 15000. Now, if I say first range starts with 5000 and the second, third range starts with 15000, that means my second range ends at 14,999. That is one subtracted from 15000 becomes the last part of the previous range. So that is the most important thing that you need to have this column sorted in ascending order which is not the case for range lookup 0. So the most important thing here is to define this table. In your requirement you may not have pre-built table like this. You will have to build this table according to your requirement. I hope this answers most of your questions to locate the values falling within the range. So people this was my second video in the VLOOKUP series. Thank you very much for watching this. Take care. Bye bye.